Hello friends. Hi, this is Jacqueline with Heirloom Vintage and Collectibles. Thank you for joining me and watching my previous videos. And if you have not, this is a haul of the activities that I did on yesterday and the day before. So of course, I am showing you one of or two of the items. Well, three, you can't see this one. It's sort of a, what do you call it? Loose side or whatever. Anyway, I got this little item here um, because I needed it like for display. So I had to put that there. But thank you for joining me again. Please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And if you are a subscriber, I appreciate you. Now, I am going to show you some of the things that I picked up at the Goodwill yesterday and the previous day. Um, you'll probably be seeing this video on Saturday, January 1st, the new year. Woo, woo, woo. I look forward to 2022. I look forward for all the wonderful things that's uh, in front of us, all of us together. So I'm going to show you some of the things you may not have seen in my previous videos because I did not film the entire store. I would have been there for at least an hour or two. So here we go. The first thing that I was happy to find and pick up is this, um, that they call it either a hat hook or a um, cup hook, cup uh, hook. And I don't get to find like these wooden ones a lot. I see them on occasion. Now this one may be um, a newer one. There seem to have been a sticker on the back that I can't um, determine what that was. So I picked it up. I have a plastic one also. I might be... Uh, um, listing this one, well, one of, or this wooden one or the plastic one will be listed on eBay and one might end up in a mystery box. So stay tuned for the conversation there that we'll be having on Sunday. And then this was just a random nice little, um, file folders. I thought they were cute. I do have a lot of folders that I use to coordinate things. So, I got this just because I think it ended up being a quarter because the pink was the uh, color of the day. So I decided to pick it up and I will use it. I like to use things that I get. And then let me keep it moving here. I had this basket set up with all of my little items. I should have just put everything up. But the next thing I have is what I said, this loose site. Um, I think that's what the material is. This I'm going to be using this for display just because, you know, when we're out, out at trade fairs or doing any kind of events, it's nice to have something to display things. And then I'll continue on, put that to the side. Now, I know when people see things like this, they immediately know that this is an Avon piece. I'm going to try, try to pick it up and show you. I thought this was cute. It looked pretty vintage. And I mean vintage in the, you know, the uh, 99 to 20 year time frame. And then I'm going to show you the bottom. Let's turn it around. I wasn't able to determine some things. I have to do some research on it. Come on. Come on. Focus. I have to do some more research on it. I apologize for the focus. But, um, well, now it really needs glasses, doesn't it? I opened it uh, just to see how the head part worked. You can see it a little better now. And it's filled with perfume. And it smells not too bad, actually. Uh, but um, if I do decide, like, to sell or ship it, I, I think I have to empty it out. So I have to think about what I'm going to do with um, that particular item. The other thing was this beautiful candle holder. Now I looked it up in the light. 
I paid 50 cents for it. Uh, I looked it up in the light to see like what type of, um, is it black milk glass? I think I've heard that term before, uh, or what other kind of material. It is glass filling, um, and it does have sort of a ponto on the bottom, and then it also have mold marks on the side. So you can't really see it, but, um, you know, I'm, I know it's sort of a black milk glass. I'm not sure, uh, what I'm going to do with it yet because I do want to do a little bit more research on it, but I thought this was really neat, really cool. So there you go. And then the other item I picked up was this beautiful, I mean, it's nothing special in the sense that it's probably a mass-produced piece made in China. It does read as um, vintage in the sense that maybe it's 20 years old. But I thought just the shape of it, it has those three-pronged legs on it. The color is cool. You can use it for so many things. I have no idea what this is. It could be a toothpick holder. It could hold pens or pencils. It could hold a number of things. And I just thought it was really cute, uh, a neat piece. So I decided to definitely grab that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. But again, some of these items may end up in a uh, mystery box. Now, the next item is actually two of these. So let me try to get it while you guys kind of look at it. It's a chalkware piece. Beautiful. And I was debating if I wanted to get these or not. So I have these two pieces here. The color, I have to tell you, on the camera looks beautifully vibrant. And they are beautiful pieces. Chalkware. Wall hanging. Uh, you have your, uh, what is that, a pear and something. And then some peaches. But I thought these were so neat, so cool, and definitely seems vintage. I have not, like, looked at all the edges. Uh, I did check for, like, you know, these are chalkware, so you know you're going to have some. Oh, here you go. I didn't see that because I didn't look very closely, but they are um, 1970, so very nice mid-century stuff. And then there's a name that we're probably not going to get to see very well. Miller Miller Studio. So that gives me something to think, to look at and think about as I decide what I'm going to do with these beautiful, um, beautiful items. And then the next thing I got I thought was pretty neat. And I hope you guys aren't getting dizzy. Uh, some of you saw me pick this up. Uh, cause it was in the first video and I just thought it was a cool piece. It's a switch plate. It says ceramic. I haven't opened it yet. It, it feels plasticky, but the thing says ceramic. So I'm going to, uh, go ahead and honor their word. And then I have some other little items to kind of do a little research on it. Again, I have not had a chance to do the research. But I will be, and I'll have the information for you soon enough. But have this beautiful mid-century looking switch plate there. I truly, truly believe it's a, a uh, mid-century piece. And it kind of matches this beautiful piece there. The next thing I picked up, and this was just a not a fluke. I really think this is a beautiful duck. It's very colorful. Uh, the color... Uh, on screen. Let's see if it's doing its justice here. And these probably aren't like the bee's knees when it comes to collecting or anything, but I thought this was a beautiful piece. It's wood, hand-painted. seems to be hand-painted. Again, a little bit more research on my end that I have to check out, but that duck is really neat. And I'm I do like to get um, little animals like that. The next thing, and I'm going to do a close-up on these. I haven't even taken the plastic off of these um, turtles. 
So originally I thought these were candles and I still suspect maybe just because of the way they are, but you know, there's no candle wick. So it's telling me that, um, that it might be something else. It is lightweight. Doesn't feel like a heavy, you know, like a pottery type thing, but it could be some form of, of wood or composite, but I do have two of them. I think they are really neat looking and I didn't take the tag off the bottom to kind of do a little bit more research on them. And if I do decide that I'll take the plastic off, I will recover them somehow, put them in something to keep them protected. But I thought they were just really neat little guys. And I'm just going through my wrapped items here. The next thing that I picked up was this very cool. I have to figure out why my camera is deciding to be a baby. I think my lighting isn't right and it's just trying to adjust. So I have to, again, apologize for the un uh, so unfocused of it. But I found this beautiful crackled glass item. And I'm trying to see, again, I did not do a very thorough look-see. I looked at the Goodwill to determine if I was buying the item, but I didn't. When I got home, I just kept it in its uh, little container that I brought it home with because they don't do bags anymore. I had to buy a little carton or something to put the stuff in. I do carry a bag in my car, but I always forget to take it in the store. But this beautiful crackle glass amber piece and you see that's applied there as far as the handle goes. And um, I'm seeing this as you guys are seeing it. It looked like it could be an imperfection, but it's not a uh, scratch or a flea bag or anything. It's really in good condition. And um, it's a beautiful piece, don't you think? I mean, the curves and everything is just really cool. So I'll put that there. And um, not to give anything away, but this probably will end up in, uh, I, I think I'm giving my sister one. These are some ceramic or uh, porcelain uh, thimbles. And I don't know how the, like again, no, no research at this time, but it does have this, it says, and I know it's the lighting now, uh, Ruder porcelain Germany. So I have two of these porcelain thimbles. That's the other one. They're really cute novelty item that I'm going to give my sister one because she sews and uh, the other one will end up somewhere. Maybe in a mystery box. Who knows? Hint, hint. Um, the next thing that I got and you guys probably can tell from the way it's shaped and everything that this is an Avon piece. And um, this piece I knew immediately was Avon because I have something similar already. But I picked it up because I thought it was cute. It's empty. Uh, it's got this little interesting purple. This purple top is like plastic. And the jar itself seems to be glass, which, you know, I pick up uh, quite a few. Well, I have about... 10 or so Avon pieces. Some of them I will be uh, putting up for sale. Some will maybe go in a mystery box and then I might keep one or two. Uh, I happen to like the Avon. I do like to find the unique ones, but I thought this was cute and, you know, I think I paid 50 cents for it. So I thought I may as well take it. Now this I might need some help on. Now it is not a glassy baby. Nor is it the other one. I can't think of the name. I think it's called the Shiny Bright. No. Shiny something. Anyway, this is Crate and Barrel. Turn it around for you. It's a Crate and Barrel piece. And it's called the Glow Tea Light Green. Made in Slovenia. So I thought I'd pick it up. It's very heavy, y'all. Very heavy. 
it's of course a either a votive or a candle holder and I thought it was very neat I'm gonna have to I did a little bit of search on um, eBay uh, the soles and the uh, list it just to get an idea of what it might be because I had not looked at all of the detail I just knew it was crate and barrel and it was on sale where's my little tag oh there it is so I ended up paying 50 cents for it but it's very heavy so I have to think about what I will be doing with that and then just a couple more items here I ended up spending which I went in the store planning on spending nothing because I really wanted to just look at things and see what was out there but these things kind of caught my eye um, and I wanted to get some additional items for mystery boxes and so on and I wanted something unique uh, so I did uh, plan on spending nothing I ended up spending eight dollars and 82 cents and that was because I used my five dollar coupon so my total spend would have been twelve dollars this I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it I still have to look it up but it's an egg right here's the egg shape of some sort it seems to be um, ceramic or something like that and it has a, this little dark spot you see is there's a hole there so it made me think that it's possibly a stem uh, vase or uh, something like that so I thought it was so neat it's so smooth and so like I can't think of the word it's not retro but it's just um, an art form that I like minimalist that kind of thing you know I used to be the minimalist person <laughs> which you know I'm still in that market you guys and then lastly I just wanted to share some patterns that I picked up so there's a nonprofit that I'm affiliated with my friend kind of runs it and they have a sewing studio or a sewing class for individuals who want to learn how to sew who knows how to sew and I thought these would be great items to donate to the SOS Center. And um, I picked up three patterns from Simplicity. Uh, one, as you can see, is sort of yoga assessments. Those would be fun for individuals to kind of learn how to sew, including me. And then we have the Butterick. Uh, I remember these when I was in, in school, you guys. Uh, now, I'm sure this is newer than that, believe me. But this Butterick pattern for like PJs or sleepers or something. I mean, I'm sure people could do this and wear them outdoors, but this is what it is. And I, I didn't look at the price or anything at the original price. That was five bucks. The original price on here um, was $15.95, believe it or not. And the last one I thought was really cute. You know, I am in my community and lots of uh, individuals including relatives who are disabled or have children and I found this little pattern simplicity pattern here and it's like a little bag or like a little holder I, I liked them showing the different ways you can use it on the little walker the grocery cart the buggy that kind of thing uh, this says the original price would have been fifteen ninety five as well which is very interesting so I'm going to gift these to the SOS Center, and I hope that I get an opportunity to try to sew some of this stuff myself. We'll see. I'm not good at that. I mean, I had sewing class, you know, how you used to have to take home med and sewing. I actually sewed as an adult, but I kind of stopped doing it. So I'm a total novice. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But this is my haul from the previous videos from the other day. And this is Jacqueline Heirloom Vintage and Collectibles. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for returning if you are already a subscriber. Thanks for watching my video. See you guys on the other side.